Hello, Internet. It's me again, Fast Eddie. I'm a locksmith out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I've been a locksmith since 1985. Oh. Now you would think I'm the oldest locksmith in Minneapolis, Minnesota, Tri-State area, but I'm not. I'm the second oldest, <laughs> so I got a little experience. So today the video is about a customer's entrance knob that will not turn even though it's unlocked. They can't open the door. So let's take a look. So I'm here in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and the door frames on most of these factory-made doors and frames have an insulation strip in them. And if you slam the door too hard, both pieces of the latch go into this hole on the strike on the door frame, which jams it. So this deadbolt is unlocked, and the customer called because they can't turn the knob. It's completely jammed up. So if you, the homeowner, has this problem with getting the door open, what you want to do is push your hand on the door frame and your foot just push in on the door and then turn the knob and it'll open. And if you're on the outside, you want to grab the knob, pull it towards you and turn, keep the pressure on it and turn the knob at the same time and the door will open just like magic. Here in the Midwest, the real problem is the insulation strips that are on these. If you slam the door too hard, it flattens out this insulation and goes too far when you slam it. So what I'm talking about, you have two pieces to the latch. You have the big piece and this little tiny plate that slides. This little plate is supposed to sit on the surface of the strike plate. The bigger piece goes in the hole. But like I said, if you slam the door too hard, both pieces end up in this hole. And that's why your knob is jamming. So like I said, just push on the door really hard, push in, and turn the knob and it'll open. Now I don't know if you folks see this where you're from, but here in the Midwest, most of the newer doors and frames are built this way with that new insulation application on the door. But because of the insulation, when you slam a door, it actually surpasses the strikes where it's supposed to line up on the door frame and the latch jams in the strike plate. Now, when I explain this to most customers, I typically get the third eye. Like, they don't believe me. As if nobody would ever manufacture a door frame that has a defect. It's very simple, folks. You need to stop slamming the door. <laughs> no, seriously, you gotta stop slamming it. There's no aftermarket products to rectify this situation that I know of, a lot of customers believe that a locksmith should be able to rectify this with some aftermarket products. So the best thing to remember is to try to put an extreme amount of pressure on the inside of the door and turn a knob at the same time and then pull towards you. It should open. And if you're on the outside, just take the knob, grab it, give it a yank, pull it towards you and turn it and then push the door open. That's how you're going to get your door open. I don't think a locksmith can solve this issue for you. These door frames are really a pain in the butt. And when I open a door like that for a customer, I get the look on their face like, what the hell? <laughs> now I have to charge them and give them a lecture on how to stop slamming doors. They don't like that. So I found myself in a lot of cases just trying to get the customer to push on a door and turn the knob at the same time. And I did this the other day for the first time. The customer got it open right away and freaked out and started laughing. He said, boy, you are something. He says, you're really good. <laughs> but then I had to give him the lecture. Stop slamming the door. That's our video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm um, Fast Eddie. Have a good one. Bye-bye.